My name is Keith, but my Chinese name is Kang Sen. I have lived in Sichuan, China for five years, and I have seen China's rapid development and economic growth. However, I also know that this country has 5,000 years of civilization. Li Bai, a great poet of the Tang Dynasty, wrote a poem, The road to Shu, so steep, steeper than heaven. My feet are on the ancient road of Shu at the moment. More than 3,000 years ago, steep cliffs, steep and winding mountain roads all made the travel in and out of the Shu land difficult and dangerous. How do contemporary Chinese overcome the limitations of geographical factors to turn the moat into a thoroughfare? The Yangtze River divides the city of Yibin into two halves. The road to Shu is difficult, but it has never been impossible for people. This sentence applies to the ancestors of ancient China, and it also applies to today's bridge engineers who build modern, new bridges on the Yangtze River, bringing changes to the economic life on both sides of the Yangtze River. Today, I will follow the famous bridge experts to take you closer to reveal these super projects of the Chinese bridge industry. So this bridge across the Yangtze River will be the world's largest road rail, dual purpose steel box girder cable state bridge with the largest width and span in the world, representing the technological level of high speed railway bridge construction in the world today. Chief Engineer Liu told me that in his more than 20 years of work, he and his colleagues have built more than 40 bridges across the Yangtze River, which is totally unimaginable and probably overkill for my hometown in the United States, or in many other parts of the world. A few kilometers away, another bridge, the Yanpingba Bridge, crosses the Yangtze River and is under construction. The cable installation of the steel box girder is now in progress in order to ensure the width and span of the bridge deck. And all the forces are on these steel cables. Before the stay cable cable is pulled up, a routine inspection must be performed to strictly check the spacing and quantity in order to ensure the quality. A technician normally makes more than 50 calls every day to check more than 100 such processes. When building a bridge on the Yangtze River, the most severe test is the flood during the flood season. I've seen the turbulent water flow on the river surface, the sway of the ship assembling the parts, the danger of the hoisting, and the normal construction is impossible. The builders face huge challenges. After the completion of these two bridges, it will solve the problems of 1.5 million people living on the river in Yibin. China has a name translated as Infrastructure Crazy Demon. This trip to Yibin gave me the taste of the speed and quality of Chinese manufacturing. The bridges that have been built and are under construction have turned the difficult road to Shu into a thoroughfare. As the builders of these world-class projects, the construction technology of Sichuan Road and Bridge is at the domestic and world advanced level and is regarded as a beautiful business card of Chinese manufacturing. These bridges are the main way to reach the river and the sea, but also to sense the pulse of the world. <laughs>